What's going on guys? Colton here with Twiggin Timber Outdoors and Lucky Tackle Box. Here to show you some tips and tricks on how to catch river bass when the, on the fly, when the water's high, murky, muddy, or the flow is just crazy for the river you're fishing. So one of the things I want to talk about is I like to use a seven weight or an eight weight fast action rod typically. Uh, but when I'm throwing weight, like a sink tip or shooting heads or versal leaders, I actually like to go to a medium uh, fast or you know like almost like a mid flex rod. Reason being is they're a little more forgiving when you're casting and you're waiting for that weight to hit in the back or in the forward uh, cast. So I like a mid flex rod for that. Uh, for bass, nine foot is perfectly fine. And uh, I like a reel that will just hold the capacity line that I like to fish. So in this case, I'm gonna fish a seven weight line uh, with about three to five foot of T11 and a Versa leader or poly leader that will get my flies down and possibly even fish a uh, fly that has something a little heavier. So like either a cone head or even more so like a sculpin head. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking for some reprieve because whenever fish are in a system where it's kind of blown out, uh, this goes for most fish, they like to find an area where it's not that difficult to swim, whether that's in deep pockets, on structure, uh, in back eddies. Most fish will find those areas to be quite satisfying whenever they're trying to survive, in a, especially whenever, for example, I'm fishing a dam right here that is uh, constantly raised and lowered. So that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. And then, uh, you know, putting yourself in a predicament where, or situations where you can find fish quickly is another advantage. And I'll show you one way I'm going to do that to find fish quickly uh, whenever I'm not sure where they're going to be. So hopefully you guys like the video. You know, give the video a thumbs up to start and uh, stay tuned. And hopefully we can catch some smallmouth, some largemouth, you know, whatever we can find in the river for you. So tight lines. Another one. Now in murky water like this, a lot of guys like to throw chartreuse. I personally like to throw like a black and a red. Uh, black and red together uh, with a little bit of flash in there. Uh, customize it if you'd like, but that usually gets it done for me. Uh, the water's kind of like a greenish stain, uh, not quite chocolate milk, but uh, water clarity for me is kind of on the low end but for the fish they can see fairly well so i'm going to be fishing a black and red to start and hopefully that does the trick for us on some fish so as we said earlier we're sitting here uh in the right off the main channel current with it's kind of heavy and there's some rock drop-offs and shelves now what we're going to be doing from there is casting our flies past those shelves uh and maybe letting them fall over stripping them over those and the rocks and we'll probably find a fish uh somewhere along here right before the riffle uh oh there we go So how we're going to rig today is attached to some fluorocarbon, I have an a loop knot, 
I have, I'm gonna go with a black and red, kind of small streamer today. I've thrown things as long as, you know, four or five inches, uh, six inches for decent sized bass, but we're gonna go with this small little um, mylar body. It's pretty beaten up. Red and black zonker on a loop knot fluorocarbon all the way to our poly leader or versa leader. And what this is is the sinking. Uh, has tungsten in its core leader uh, that I'm going to go loop to loop with some uh, T11. Now this happens to be anywhere from three to five foot. This one uh, is a three foot, but we're gonna, or I'm sorry, five foot, but we're gonna start out with a three foot because it might be a little easier for us to hit smaller riffles. We also have a loop to loop to our, uh, the sinking end of our intermediate line and all that's being thrown on our seven weight an eight weight would do just what well as well um, and that's going to allow, allow us to get deep down and find some fish that are trying to find some refuge in that deeper faster water give it some time to sink There's a couple runs over here we're going to swing near too There we go. Nice little smallie. Let's see if we can't find a slightly bigger one there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's much better. That's actually a large mouth. No way. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlist. So until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.